Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you my rubber tree propagation journey and share with you kung anong nag-work na method sa mga ginawa ko. Please keep on watching! Let's start by giving you a warning that this plant is toxic. It is advisable to wear gloves and even glasses. When I did the propagation, I was not wearing gloves. Kinat ko yung mga cuttings and nilinis ko siya sa batsyang puno ng water. Di naman siya directly napunta sa skin ko, pero somehow yung mixed water and sap or dagta somehow nahahawakan ko while cleaning the cuttings. And then suddenly, I felt both of my arms numb. So, when people say na toxic yung plant, uh, be extra careful when handling these plants. Sa mga magtatanong if I use a rooting hormone, yes, I used a rooting hormone called Hermex. I got it from Shopee for only 199 pesos. I will also put the link on the description box if you're interested in getting uh, this. And this is how it looks like. Sabi nila, you can also try uh, using aloe vera and cinnamon powder. So if you have them in your household, pwede nyo rin siyang gamitin as a, as a hormone to do the propagation. July 19 was when I started uh, the propagation. And just a reminder guys, uh, when you do a uh, rubber plant propagation make sure that you use matured branches or cuttings para mas mataas yung success level na mabuhay sila so first method i cut the cuttings into three to four i removed all leaves and put them directly sa soil after soaking them for a minute sa hormex bali ang naging size ng cuttings ko was around one foot after ko silang hatiin. Then, uh, nilagay ko lang sila sa place na di sila magagalaw with no direct sun. Dun sa second method naman, same process lang din, pero this time, I covered them with plastic. Then, uh, I moved them sa place na di sila magagalaw and also no direct sun. Last method na ginawa ko was, I just soaked the cutting sa Hormex. And then, I planted it directly sa soil. This time, I did not remove the leaves. Di ko rin to hinati-hati uh, para maging one foot size. And hindi ko rin to nilagyan ng plastic. And then, nilagay ko lang sila sa place na hindi sila magagalaw. And of course, not, no direct sun. Sa first method, after 48 day, nagkaroon na ng usbong or leaf. Yung dalawang cuttings ko, ayan siya. One thing na napansin ko was yung mga nagkaroon ng leaf were the ones na nasa top part ng cuttings. Yung mga nasa middle part or bottom part ng cuttings, nagkakaroon sila ng usbong sa side pero nagda-dry din, never silang natuloy sa pagtubo. After a few weeks, one of these cuttings even had an extra leaf. So, naging two yung leaves niya. Pero one day, pagtingin ko sa kanila, wala na silang tahon. Nakulog na sa soil yung leaves. I'm thinking it was because of rat or pwede din naman yung dog namin. One mistake ko lang was nung nagkaroon na sila ng leaves, nilipat ko na sila sa place uh, na medyo prone na masagi sila. And then, it totally dried out. And then, uh, yung second method naman, yung binalot ko sa plastic, None of it work. Siguro kasi na sobrahan sila sa humidity. Dito kasi sa place namin, uh, mataas na yung humidity, so covering them with plastic cause them to get more humidity than they need. Ito yung third method. Nilagyan ko siya ng support kasi mataas yung cuttings para di siya masyado magalaw or di siya matumba. As you can see, droopy yung leaves niya. Ganyan yung itsura ng leaves ng rubber plant kapag stress yung halaman. So, normally, it happens kapag walang roots or kapag kakarapat lang ng plant. 
And then after a few weeks, what I did was I slowly uh, removed the lower part leaves para somehow mag-focus yung plant na mag-roots rather than mag-supply ng nutrients sa existing leaves niya. Day 55 was when I started to see changes sa leaves niya. Yung pagkabagsak kasi ng leaves nito, halos nakadikit na sa stem. So, mahahalata mo talaga na medyo hindi na siya stress. Then, day 65, nakataas na yung leaves niya. So, I was thinking meron na siyang roots. This was also the day I put yung isang cutting sa natira na di pa nagda-dry. Nilagay ko siya sa same pot. Day 78, nag-start ng mag-unfurl yung leaf niya. Ito pa yung uspong mula nung nakuha ko yung cuttings. After 3 days, fully open na yung leaf and then may kasunod na uli siyang um, usbong. Ito na siya now. The only issue that I had was one of the leaves had white spots. Wala naman yun dati. So, I did my research and sabi online it could be due to sudden exposures, high light in intensity, or due to mealy bugs. Maraming ways to do propagation. What works sa iba may not work sa'yo. And it's not gonna hurt if you try them all to see kung ano yung magiging successful method for you. If you've done propagation successfully, comment down below and share your tips. I'm sure it's gonna be helpful to all plant parents out there na gusto mag-try mag-propagate. And if you're planning to do propagation and has some questions, comment down below. Maybe alam ko or alam din ng ibang plant parents out there yung sagot sa tanong mo. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Happy planting! See you on my next video. Bye!